and then Ryan in the morning show. <laughs> Shut up. And the smiling in the morning. Sounds like a rub of my eyeballs. I know my lash is not even like connected, but I don't want it to. It'd be hurting. As soon as we touch down, that's slam. Like, just put this one in your thing. I keep holding on to it. Shit, we would have ended up in Motherfucker Vegas. <laughs> 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 we would have had to change everything. So, so far, how you feeling? Um, oh, ancient. Oh, well. Yeah, anxious. I want to say nervous. Anxious. I ain't never been on a flight before, so it's kind of um, it's different. It's different. The scenery is different. You know, I'm getting a whole vibe of just everything. It's been different. Yeah, you know, I'm getting a whole vibe of just everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. I just can't wait for us to just touch down. It's supposed to be, um, I think like the heights is supposed to be like 89 down there. Oh, the board for this one is an hour and six minutes. I seen it. Oh, it's coming up. Okay. We're literally the next one to start boarding. <laughs> but yeah, it's supposed to be like the highest supposed to be down there. It's like 89. So, I don't know, I need to find like a couple of dresses or something at the store or something so I won't be burning up. These are what? It's supposed to be the highest, supposed to be 89. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy we ended. He's going to text me and tell me some thank you for using Sphinx Club services. <laughs> 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 but um yeah i'm excited ready to touch down got up early we was over here bullshitting and stuff but we got through the airlines fast it actually went by like hella smooth now we just sitting here waiting to board and stuff I might ask him to buy me a new bag down here. I'm not gonna know what she's saying. But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I'm excited for this whole journey. I'm excited for him to get his procedure done. I'm definitely excited for me. I'm just so excited overall. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. We're gonna have fun. I can't get the fact that I'm on this camera with my lashes like this, but it's so I was gonna get um some extensions, but I'm just like, man, I just don't know how like everything is gonna go down here. So I'm like, I don't wanna be doing too much and I might be like sitting down and you know, I don't know. We just we just gonna see. I might give me some more lashes down there. So we're gonna see y'all once we take flight. Took us a second to even get inside the car because the little keypad and stuff like that I uh, want us to get demonetized with this. But um, now that we in the car, it say our Airbnb is 13 minutes away. So we finna go down to the Airbnb, get ourselves cleaned up. I'm not going to sleep. This is like the only free, free day that we got right now. So we finna try to enjoy ourselves. So 
I'm hungry too. I'm definitely hungry. Like, I'm starving. I'm trying to eat that, uh, man, the food expensive as shit inside. <laughs> I spent like $30. $30. Dollars. Dollars. I spent $30 on, uh, what the fuck is uh, Two bagel sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Them, them hoes weren't even combos. It wasn't no fries. It wasn't no drink with it or nothing. It was strictly like. Strictly yeah, bagel. Yeah, just straight bagels. Like, strictly I was like, bagel. yeah. Never again. And then the Gatorade. Uh, the Gatorade was almost $6. Yes, a single bottle of Gatorade. That's a whole case mm -hmm. at the grocery store. Yes. We lost it too. I forgot. I, you were supposed to ask your dad about the damn gift cards. Oh, he be messing up, y'all. Yeah. I tell you, I'm sending us pictures. We'll mm -hmm. see. You. So, who? I'm um, so happy to get to this Airbnb, see what it's like. We need to check it out. Um, I need to hop in the shower, everything. But my thing is, I ain't really bring no clothes or weather, so maybe we could stop at like quick store or something because I, I know it's still some things that I still have to get for wise is um for uh the surgery and stuff. I got my text soon as I got off the flight um for like pre op and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm like I'm really finna do this. Testing me already. I didn't got it too with the bagel man at the bar. <laughs> no, it wasn't even the bagel man, it was the barman. Yeah. The barman that checked us out. The barman, then it's retarded to the goof ass nigga. Um I asked him, I say, hey, bro, you work here? He said, Yeah. I say, hey, where uh where 2A at? He said, oh, I'm busy, I'm doing something. Why you want doing shit? <laughs> you the person behind me honking me, now I'm honking back. <laughs> on all bullshit. New city, new me. Oh no, don't start that. No, nah, I'm saying though, they being mean to me though. No. See, this is probably just how they go right there. Uh, Alright, well, I'm, yeah, I'm going to match this up from St. Louis, man. Okay. Well, I, Again, I, I, ain't got, it I got irritated for a second just because of everything I was holding and stuff trying to get to this damn core. He's taking forever. But, but um. Man. man. It just feel good to get in some AC. Definitely. Cause that walk, hey, that hey, walk of shame. I took a nice little shower before I got. I didn't feel like I had to take a shower again until I touched down. Mm -hmm. Five minutes being here it was like no, I just got out of swamp. Water. It was us being in the um like exiting off the, the oh, plane and I stuff. It, it was hot. I want that chance too. Okay, he gave me a little extra change on the house. Unless it's the airport exit or something. I don't know. <laughs> it looked like it was coming up. <laughs> Look at you. You thought she was in the clear. He thought he didn't have to pay nothing. Uh, but, oh my goodness. The sunny skies. We gotta do cash. He gave us cash. How did say say credit card on it? Oh no. Stupid. That's gonna Don't worry about it. We for fuel. Mm -hmm. oh, let me see. Fine. Well, at least he gave you the, um, to replace it. Oh, you got it. Is that like another pimple? Oh. Yes, sir. Hmm. Hey, bus. Your phone. Baby, if you ain't paying, you oh, don't Oh, okay. All right. All right. Tell me more. 
I'm rushing in you. you I ain't trying there. to rush you. I'm trying to help mean, you. It's a difference. I don't mean no help. Okay. Where's my receipt? See, that's what I'm talking about. I don't like it down here. <laughs> I ain't getting my receipts. I ain't getting... Who the fuck do they think they are? <laughs> this is Miami, baby. We in Miami. Now let's go see the trees. That's all I came for. Oh, is that? Yeah, just to see the trees. That's pathetic. <laughs> pathetic. I hey, no, that, hey, no, when he did that, I don't know what it was. I, I know you were sleeping. Mm -hmm. And then I know they said we was going to get ready and have like a little bump or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know. Like, then, then the airplane went down. When the airplane went down, everybody went up. Man, ah! I screamed so hard. Yeah. No. I'm, I'm just trying to get the, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm trying to get the hang of what's going on before I just say my call. The trees look nice, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and get some footage of how it's looking out here because it's really nice. This is beautiful. All of this. I'm ready. Let's go ahead and go in for the kill. Let's go. Hot. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Why don't you don't like it? It's not bad. This is his first meal in Miami. How you feeling? Um, I'm like I'm soul taco. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. No, I like it. I like everything. We ended Look, up you eating know it's real tacos. When, get the legs, baby. Get the legs. You know it's real when I bring out the food. You feel me? <laughs> you know I'm somewhere special when I got the feet out. Tell them about how we are. Um, so we've been parking in a lot of like parking garages. It's all this shit to like move <laughs> We parked in a parking garage and I thought I was coming out to the restaurant. I ended up inside the mall. <laughs> That's that fast life. Hmm.
All right, y'all. So it's the next morning. It is 8.32. Yesterday, when I tell y'all, we was outside all day. Like, we literally did not get home until, like, what time? Do you remember? Probably like 10. Was it like 10? Uh -huh. Okay, well, what we ended up doing? We ended up going to get some food, got some fire ass tacos from, uh, who was it, Talking Tacos? Yeah, yeah, that was good. We had got that. We had got, like, the burrito tacos from there. Um, they had some nice little cheesecake. The drinks was good. Then we ended up walking the, it was like a, a outlet mall, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, you know, we're like three levels. No, yeah. Yeah, because the the fourth level had the the restaurants and the movie theater. Mm -hmm. But um, after we did the whole mall thing, what we do? Uh, we ended up going to the store, right? At the mall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we went to the store. And then okay, we went we to Walmart. More, get some more stuff. We yeah. needed some more surprises. Mm -hmm. We ended up going to uh, Walmart, and then I think we played around in Ross. We was just out, just driving. Didn't want to go home for a second. So, now baby is getting ready to go to his appointment to get his teeth done. I'm going to go next year, you know, because I'm getting a little jealous knowing that he can have a perfect smile. And mine's just going to be looking all gray and stuff. Yeah, you need to make sure you brush your teeth before you go there. I know, that's what I'm But, um, but what was I going to say? Um... Yeah, so we finna get ready to take him to his appointment first. His appointment is before me. So I get to actually be in there with him for a little second. Um, I'm out my lashes still, y'all. I'm still not gonna fix them right now. But uh, I'm excited for him, y'all. Well, e Look, you see what I'm saying? He, he said, said he gonna get the white. Hollywood smile. Yeah, I'm getting a straight air. Yeah, no fangs, no nothing. Don't give me that air. I need square. Oh, if I buy the sandwich, you gotta be a fucking squirt. You know what I mean? Like I want my shit to be perfect. Mm -hmm, yeah. But yeah, I, if, when I go, I don't want no Hollywood smell. I actually kind of like the whole little thing, thing yeah, you know, yeah. just to look a little bit more natural. No. You know. Hey, when you paying for these, baby, don't natural me, baby. Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood I guess he ain't going for the natural if look because he ain't get that easy, money in a natural that, way. Yeah. You say what? If I get the natural, I'm about to leave my regular teeth, baby. There's no reason for me to pay all this paper and I got, you know, give me the natural look look. No. Uh, Why are you saying way. like natural like top bottom regular ass teeth? You see what I'm saying? But I want it to look more like the realistic. Natural. What's wrong with the you know, Hey, when you see me, you know, they were like, damn, he got yo, I spent that. No, they got this. No, I wasn't born with these. I spent that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know? yeah the unnatural way. I wasn't born with this. I spent that. <laughs> well, but okay. it's right there. It's right there. Oh. But uh, the place is seven minutes away. So I'm just waiting on him to get ready. I'm already ready. I didn't, you know, dress up. I only got sweats on and stuff. But, um,. We're going to take him to his appointment first. Then we're going to go to mine's. See what they're talking about for both of us. I'm just so excited to see how this process goes. We should do a um, a tour. But we kind of like already like got settled in already. But the Airbnb that we got is actually like really nice. It's not like huge or nothing. But it's, it's a real nice, nice size yeah, just for nice. us to... Now, if we would have had the kids, oh, hell no. Nah. Like, nah, this would have never worked. But far wise it's just with us two, like, it's actually, it's actually really nice. So, when we, if we clean up, or when we clean up, I'm going to try to give y'all, like, a quick tour. Because, I mean, it's going to be hella quick. Like, it's, like, like a straight through. But, uh. We're close to a lot. We're five minutes. I mean, we're downtown is literally, like, ten minutes. Uh, the beach is 15. You know what I mean? You really don't get close without having to spend too much fucking money just to be on the beach. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so like, we ain't, like, we ain't everything. really use no gas. Because everything, like, where we at, everything is close by. And that's why I like Airbnbs. If we would have stayed at a hotel, 
that hotel, like this Airbnb is $95 a night. If we would have stayed at a hotel, it probably would have been like 200 a night just to even be like on the, the main street and stuff like that. Don't nobody got time for that. So I actually like this way better. And then it came with, you know, like the cooking stuff that we need, the little spices, whatever, just in case we want to cook. I told him yesterday that I'm not going to get the rest of my um, surgery supplies and stuff until after I know that I'm actually cleared for surgery um, today. So if everything goes good on my end, then I'm going to go and get the rest of the stuff like things to cook and, um, you know, to eat while I'm relaxing her and stuff like that. So until then, I'm going to wait until after. And prayers i'm just fingers crossed everything i'm just hoping you know everything go good for both of us today i'm hoping that his appointment he loved everything and how it goes and i'm just hoping with my pre-op that i get cleared for surgery and surgery goes good for me as well so baby finna finish getting himself together so we can hurry up and get up out of here we will see y'all hopefully once we make it down to uh, his appointment Shit, yeah, shit for real. Let me see. I don't know. You can't even turn the camera. You know, I'm chilling. I'm thugging. So, y'all, my mouth is like <laughs> numb and shit. So, but they then, this one, gun, gun cutting, and on top. To do the thing, uh, and they just show you her teeth now. That, that kind of give it that, you know what I mean? That that high up. Mm -hmm. uh, boy, I can't even. Hey, hey. Baby. That's why I told you to come in the front. My bad, I can't let nobody, you know. <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling? Oh my goodness. You like him? Yes. You do? I bet you like him. You may kiss with him, man. How you feeling? They look so fucking clean. I would drool all over the place and shit. I could go Yeah, I could They probably like, why the fuck is she still right here? I don't know. Is that oh, a... Yeah, I went this way. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. I oh, came out. Too. That's always the best part to watch you. Anyway, excited? I am. You are? Mm -hmm. All right, well, you know I'm here, baby. Yeah, make sure you keep your phone on you. I will. I'm going to take it out to the non-stairs. Yeah, so, you see a Florida number calling you? Pick it up. All right, I got you, baby. <laughs> okay. All right, I love you. Love you, too. You're already moving like you. I know. Because <laughs> you're old. <laughs> you're already old. I'm trying to get mentally prepared for this. All right, baby. <laughs> Come on, why did you think? <laughs> Bye. Come on, baby. There she go, y'all. I couldn't even get a chance to be cool. Once I seen her coming out in the wheelchair, I was, yeah, I was, man. When I say she came out in the wheelchair, I instantly, I, all I thought about is pain for my baby. I didn't instantly, I didn't open the door fast as a motherfucker. I didn't toss the phone. Shit, what, what, what I got to do to got it, you know what I mean? What I got to do to help type shit, so. I couldn't even really get a chance for y'all to see it when she came out, but she in pain. For shit, so she in pain.
Mm. Okay, yeah. Today is day two of me having surgery. And when I tell y'all, it gets better. It gets better. Because, like, the first day, like, the first couple hours of me being out, honestly, 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 like, the pain was, oh, it was, I don't know, it was, it was really unbearable. But, like, once you get your medicine and stuff, I mean, it went by good. Like, I had um, a little medicine on me to kind of, like, help before I could get the other stuff that they prescribed for me. But, um, I'll be losing my train of thought. So, once I had got the medicine that they prescribed to me, uh, I mean, the process of, like, the pain going away and controlling it, it got better. It, it got really, really better. Uh, my only thing is, like, y'all need to stay if, if y'all don't have like the appetite like how i'm losing like my appetite and stuff the least i could do is stay up on y'all fluids because uh when my lady i had i finally got my massage today too so when my lady had um massaged me i had so much fluids like coming out like, and that was a really good thing. Like, that was a really good sign. Like, the fluids was coming out of my body. It wasn't building up and stuff. Um, my stomach, like, once she, once she had um, did the massaging and stuff, I mean, like, I'm trying to see about, like, propping the phone up a little bit. But, um, like, when she started massaging me and all that fluid and stuff was coming out, my stomach went down, like, hellas. It went down hellas. Even my fiancé, like, once he seen me take the fupa off, he was just like, I said the fupa, the faha. Once he seen me take the faha off, he thought I had a whole fupa. He told my son, you ain't never had a fupa before. Now you got one and stuff. I'm like, nah, it's literally just fluids. Just there. It just needs to like be moved out and stuff. So when she did the, um, the massaging and everything, I mean, all that fluid was just coming out and coming out and coming out. And I started feeling so much better. Like I did get lightheaded a couple times. But, um, I mean, it's just really like a process. Y'all need to stay up with y'all pineapple juices, y'all um, Gatorade and water, because even if, like, you can't eat anything, the least you can do is stay hydrated, because that's what my doctor told me. He was like, your main thing is staying hydrated. Staying hydrated, staying hydrated, because, you know, you can pass out, you know, and then walking, too, because, you know, you can cause, like, blood clots and stuff. And today... I'm not gonna lie to you, I was like my first time actually getting up and like walking longer than usual because I don't know, it was it was a little bit harder for me to actually stay up and um, walking and stuff. I just had to keep like laying down cause you know, just being so exhausted and shoulders, you know, <laughs> being tight and sore and everything. And it felt really, really good getting in the shower, too. It felt really good. Like, like being in this fire, being in a bloody fire high for over 24 hours is disgusting. It just, it just don't feel right. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, like, being, like, very honest with y'all, I peed on myself probably, like, three times. I want to say probably, like, three times. Even though my fire high opens up, it's just, um... Like the urinal that I have, I don't think I was holding it right the first two times. So that's what was, you know, causing me to do this and that. So I was messing my club, you know, messing my fire high up. And just knowing that I still couldn't take it off until I had my massage. That shit was just, ugh. But ended up getting the fire high washed and ugh, it felt so much better. I feel so much better not being in all that blood and stuff. I got my, 
compression socks back on and stuff. I walked outside and I think it's just like looking like that from, you know, draining and stuff and blood coming down to my feet. But um, I want to say like, what's still like bothering me is just being sore. Like my hips, my hips is really, really sore. Um, my stomach, of course, of course, that's really, really sore. Uh, it's like sore to the touch. But when I had got the massage and stuff, it was it wasn't as painful as I thought it would be. Um, so I'm really looking forward to tomorrow's massaging, and hopefully, you know, that goes good and stuff. I hope you know that one feels much better. But y'all do got to stay up with walking, um, stay up on y'all fluids and stuff. It gets better. It gets so much better because when I got out, oh my goodness, it was just so painful. Like, it was so painful, like, not having, you know, like, no medicine and stuff. I don't even think it was really easy for me to honestly wake up either, like, I remember them trying to wake me up, but I don't, I don't remember a lot of the things that even happened, honestly. Like, it's, it was really hard for me. <laughs> but after the after the first day, it, I don't know, it just, it got better. Like, sleeping-wise is getting better for me. Getting up on my own is getting better for me. Like, I haven't had my fiance help me with getting up. So that's really good, too. Um... The only thing, another thing that I don't like is, like, riding in a car and him hitting, like, bumps and stuff. Like, that shit really, it, like, my stomach is really sore. So, of course, you know, all that moving and stuff, it just bothers me. But do I regret it? Hell to the motherfucking no. No. Not at all. I'm so motherfucking happy that I actually did this shit. Like, I'm so happy that I did this shit. Like, my stomach is small. And it's only day two. Like, my stomach is small. Like, I asked for... The main thing that I asked for when it came down to the surgery. And Dr. Cannon was so motherfucking cool, laid back. Like, he didn't give me no attitudes. He didn't, you know, be like... Oh, well, you need this and you need that. None of that stuff. Like, all he kept saying was, he was like, you know, um, I guess it was certain things on my body for me being a BBL candidate. And he was like, um, so basically, um, he was saying it was like certain parts of my body that made me a great candidate for getting a BBL. And he was like, uh, because I asked him, I was like, look, I got back rolls and I feel like my back is like big, like a linebacker or something. <laughs> so I was like, I really want like my back to be gone. And I was like, I mainly like want hips. Like you don't have to give me like no fat ass, but I also don't want it to look like I didn't get my ass done either. Cause I'm not paying thousands of dollars for nothing. So he was basically like, he was like, cool. He was like, so let's do it like this. He was like, so we don't want it to look natural, but we don't want it to look like, you know, you really like got this big old ass. So he was like, let's do a dramatic small. And I was like, that sound perfect. That, that sound perfect. So we did a dramatic small and he filled my hips in. Like he filled my hips in for me. And when I tell y'all, I took the rolls off my back like he took all of them off he took them he took them all off i tell you i'm really just looking at the results and it's only day two like i'm already you know already loving the process i'm already loving this process everything about it like i'm loving it um so he finna go get us something to eat, get like some soup, maybe a little salad or something from Panera or something. I don't know. Just wherever got like some 
uh, some, uh, something soft, and I, I read on the thing, like, I'm a big fan of ice cream, too, so I read on the paper, that was like, eat a lot of ice cream to help feed the fat, damn right, I can do just that, <laughs> so, so we finna go, I, or he finna go and get something for us to eat real quick, and, um, I'm gonna insert like some of my videos showing y'all like what it's looking like, all of that stuff. Um, so just stay tuned, like, you know, staying updated with me on the process of, um, you know, just staying like updated with me because I know it's gonna be a process, but I hope tomorrow, I don't know if he got any footage of me getting my massage, but. If not, then tomorrow I'll get some footage of uh, the uh, massage process and stuff. If anything, for y'all ladies um, that's like really sore, that are get sensitive and stuff, I was playing music. Uh, I had my headphones on while I was getting the massage and I was thinking, you know, like humming to it and stuff. And as she was going over like the real like sore, sore spots and stuff, I was able to kind of like deflect feeling like the pain and stuff. Um, you know, if I was just like not being able to really think about it and stuff. So if anything, y'all, when y'all get y'all massages, have something that's going to keep y'all mind occupied off of like the pain and stuff. So just do that. And I'ma just let y'all know as the process goes by. Um, I'll just keep y'all updated and everything. And if y'all want me to talk more about um, like my pre-op um, and my post-op appointment up at the facility, I will. But until then, I guess I'll just see y'all in the next one.